Well guys, it's way too windy to record any video in the garden because it just uh, destroys the audio. Even though I've got a little piece of foam on my mic which helps with that buffeting noise from the wind. That's a little tip for you. If you get that buffeting noise, put a little piece of foam rubber over your microphone. But I came out the other day to look at my kale and I'll show you some uh, images and some close-up video of what I found. It's these tiny little green beetles. They're called flea beetle. I have my own remedy that is kind of like a kill-all for the garden and it works pretty good on a lot of stuff. Fungus, uh, nematodes, uh, all kinds of bugs, you name it. It might even work on moles and I'm going to find out. When you turn these spigots off, don't crank them or they'll end up leaking. Just shut them off and be done with it. That's probably about two and a half gallons of water. Just regular antiseptic mouthwash, nothing fancy. I don't put a whole lot in there. Some recipes call for using an awful lot of this stuff, but what I found is just a little bit of dish soap and a little bit of mouthwash. And if you've got it, that tobacco juice really works well for a lot of different things. And I'll apply it like once a week. I'm going to leave the garlic pepper and cayenne pepper out because it's going to clog up my sprinkling can. Stir that up. If you put the dish soap in first, it's going to foam up and it's just going to make a mess. So. Put it in last. One year my squash wouldn't produce, they would get flowers and the flowers would die off and I found out it was some type of fungus or something attacking them. And once I started putting that mouthwash in there, that fungus went away, the flowers grew and I got plenty of squash. See if it works for those flea beetles. You really want to get it in there good and you want to coat the whole area, the whole ground and everything around it. Come back in a few days and see if those little buggers are still on my kale. These flea beetles are known to attack a wide variety of mustard family plants. So I see they're on my radishes here. They get on kale. I believe they'll get on, probably get on your cabbage and your turnips. But this same tonic 
will work to kill those cabbage worms and keep those uh, those white cabbage moths from laying eggs on your cabbage plants too. I never had no success with cabbage until I started using this dish soap and mouthwash. once a week and all the cabbage worms and all the fungus and all the bad things that eat your plants or keep your plants from fruiting go away like I said if you have that tobacco juice that's a big benefit but I don't have any so thanks for watching Thanks for all the comments, thanks for all the support, and uh, thanks for this hat.